Hi guys, this is Chelsea Sanabria with Lemonade Project. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and see how you're doing. I know a lot of people are having a hard time right now, um, not just because of the fire flare-ups, but also because I know a lot of people are without power right now, uh, including us. Me and my husband and my son are currently staying at my parents' house. We lost power yesterday afternoon around 5.30 p.m. and we won't be getting it back until sometime tomorrow night is what they estimate, but we'll see what actually happens. But something I also wanted to bring to you guys' attention is another fund besides our Wildfire Assistance Fund, which I want to thank everyone who has reached out, who has been donating. We've received a huge downpour of donations that are going to people in need. So thank you guys so much for that. But another fund that we just implemented and are now fundraising for is our Power Outage Assistance Fund. Over the last six years in California, power lines have caused over 15,000 fires, including one of the deadliest blazes in the state's history. And that's one of the reasons, actually probably the biggest reason for these public safety power shutoffs that have been happening for the last few years and that have started this year, much earlier than the last couple years, just as the fires have. And besides those, we're also getting flex alerts. And the flex alerts, they're not public safety power shutoffs due to fire weather, the flex alerts are when we have heat waves, the power grids are getting overburdened. They are to conserve energy, to conserve electricity. So those are scheduled shutoffs that are gonna be going around rolling blackouts. Um, we have a page for it where we're gonna be posting information about the public safety power shutoffs and the flex alerts. I'll include the link to the page with this post here so you guys don't have to try and remember the name of it. But this fund is really important right now and it's a huge need. We've had tons of people reaching out to us, but we just started fundraising. So we are really pushing to raise the funds that we can to help the people that are really in need right now. In Sonoma County, there are over 17,000 pg and &E customers without power and over 5,000 customers in Napa County without power. Any of this money that we raise for this fund is going to be going towards donations of non-perishable food items to people who can't afford to replace these items or to stock up on them when they know about the power outages happening and also to help people restock on staples like milk, butter, eggs if they can't afford to do so after they get back home because we know if you don't have somewhere to go, if you don't have you know, a big ice chest, someone with a big freezer or fridge that can help you store stuff, then you could be losing you know, a week's worth of food and there are a lot of people who can't afford to replace all of that. So we really wanna be able to help with that. We'll also be help helping with lanterns, LED lights, flashlights, candles, all of those essentials for during the powder out power outage. And if we collect enough funds, then we also want to have some charging stations that we can set up around the city for anything you know, essential that you need to have charged. If you need to have your cell phones, your laptops for work, anything that you need. If we have the funding for that, that is definitely in our future plans, as well as helping people get generators. Power shutoffs are an inconvenience for a lot of people. They're annoying, they're frustrating. But for a lot of people, it can also be a life and death situation. There are some people who have medical needs. They have power, su they have power supply needs for medical equipment, for medical necessities, for things that are dire, things for their kids. Some people, depending on how their house is set up, some people also lose their water when they lose their electricity. So all of the money that comes to this fund is gonna go helping, t going towards helping all of those urgent and dire needs during this time, and this year and in the coming years, because this is expected, these rolling blackouts, these public safety power outages, we're expected to be dealing with these for the next 10 or so years. So this is gonna be a huge need for the foreseeable future. So we really appreciate all of your guys' support please reach out if you need help. And if we have what you need, we will do what we can to get it to you. If you have any donations, you can go to our website. I'll have all the links to our websites, our Venmo account, everything included with this post. I thank you guys so much for your support from here on out and for what you've given us so far. We couldn't be where we are without you. We couldn't have helped all these people that we've already helped without you guys. So thank you and stay safe.